OMG BG! What's up BBGs? We're back with another Hasbro unboxing and man was this one hard to find but we finally got it. It's a dual pack, uh, Beyblade Burst Turbo Slingshock, Fafnir F4 and of course we get a Hasbro exclusive as well. It's Ruder? Ruder? R-U-D-R-R-4? We're not gonna focus on that guys, like come on, we're here for Fafnir obviously, right? Looking at the box, right away you can tell that it is definitely different from the Tomy version. It is missing a few important things in its design and it's a little disappointing. But who knows, we have to unbox it before we really judge it. Yeah, so its stats are, you know, pretty obvious, like it's a stamina type, right? So of course we get the Fafnir F4 Lair, then we get the 8 Dash Forge Disc, and it's good that they didn't alter that. It doesn't come with proof, so I wonder if Hasbro will actually release the proof frame separately, uh, or if they're just gonna basically leave it out. Because in Takeratomi, you had to get the proof frame from the Chosey Triple Booster set to complete your Fafnir F4. And we get the Absorb S Driver. So this is the Slingshock version of the original Absorb Driver. Pretty exciting, I guess, because Absorb's already really fast around the stadium sometimes. You know, when they pull off that Absorb break. But this could be even faster, potentially. Okay, and then of course, briefly, for the you guys who are actually looking forward to the Ruder F4, we get the Lair, and we get like, it looks like we get a 12 disc, and Fusion. Yeah, Fusion Driver, the Slingshock version of that. Okay, let's unbox it. Okay, we really gotta address the elephant in the room here. Will this Fafnir be able to spin steel? That is a very important question. And we pretty much already know the answer to that one. Do we though? Yeah. <laughs> Even if it can spin steel, it's not gonna spin steel as well. Without the rubber. But we'll have to see. So Fafnir F3 did have the rubber pieces on the layer, but it does look like the Hasbro Fafnir F4 does not. It Man, it got downgraded so hard. Wow, okay, well, there's definitely things that, that we can compare for sure. First, it was like no metal in Chosey designs. Now it's like, we're not even going to put in rubber either. Oh, uh, that's kind of sad. At least they didn't nerf these dash parts. Like, a dash is still around. So if you guys don't have that from the Kiritomi version, at least you can get it from this Hasbro one. All right, let's start comparing and really dive deep into this design. Let's see what's going on with this Fafnir F4. Right off the bat, the colors are a little bit different. And of course, guys, these dragon heads over here, no rubber. This is all plastic right here. The previous version, like Steven said, has rubber and the upgraded turbo version does not have rubber. Um, I, I don't get it. Why did they do that? But it's like, it's basically Fafnir's like most iconic feature is the rubber and you just took that away. But whatever, let's just see if it still works. So th this is spring loaded on these heads and it definitely is a little bit tighter than the Takeratomi version. So of course meant for, uh, you know, damage absorption, but not as effective when you don't have rubber. I don't know, maybe they thought that rubber just made it too OP in like the whole kind of like slingshot universe. Maybe uh, that's why they took it away. I'm really looking forward to doing some test battles with this guy, which we'll yeah. do uh, in a few minutes here. Who knows, maybe, like, we're saying all this, but in test battles, maybe this will spin steel better than Takara told me. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> you never I mean, know, it's, right? It's on purpose. Exactly, you never it's know. It's a feature. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of sad, though. You know, the rubber is its iconic feature, and it doesn't have it. Moving over to the disc, 8 dash. That is something that we've seen from the original version. It's nice that they didn't modify it in any way. Um, yeah, it's basically heavier on both ends now, and yeah, it's still looking pretty sweet. Now, this is the interesting part as well, is the Absorb Slingshock version. It looks normal. It has a free rotating plate with uh, little teeth on the edges. And the thing is, is that, so yeah, with the Takara Tomi version, very easy to push down the Absorb driver, right? It retains that feature that we kind of originally saw in the Nothing, um, driver in Hasbro, you don't really know if it's effective or not. You have to push down with a lot of force to really get that plate. Um, but maybe that's just one of the drawbacks when you add like a slingshot feature, right? You just basically pull up and then the entire plate will basically raise a little bit and you get a taller driver and you'll be using the actual platform right here more so. And basically to go back into battle ring mode, you just push it back in 
and then that's it. This snaps back basically. I'm not gonna lie, the slingshot feature being able to change your you know performance stuff like that, like it's a cool feature for sure. Like the height change is pretty cool. The height change is cool, being able to ride the rails better, that whole feature is sweet. But like you have to basically take away from the layer to make it, you know, more balanced. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, that's basically Geist Fafnir or Fafnir F4 from Hasbro. This is what we have to deal with. Okay, base put together. Let's give you guys another side by side. This is Fafnir F4 and Geist Fafnir. Rubber versus no rubber. Take a look at the back. Of course, we have the proof frame on our Takara Tomi version. Driver design, I guess, like when you first look at it, similar, but obviously very different, right? One slingshot, one isn't. So, of course, we already know that the bay is going to be lighter than the Takara Tomi version, but I'm sure some of you are probably wondering just how much. So, let's just quickly weigh everything. So, there's no metal, no rubber. This weighs, I think, what was that, 15? 0.19. Yeah, 15 grams. And Takara Tomi version, the real Geist Fafnir. 20.67 The original absorb driver 6.99 Yeah, so lightweight 7 grams And then absorb slingshot version 6.58 Slightly yeah, lighter Yeah, slightly lighter Not a huge difference, but that's good You're not talking about like 5 grams difference But then again, like you really can't make this that much lighter <laughs> But alright, let's put it together Let's do some test spins and test battles with the Fafnir F4 Let's test that one and see if it can really spin steel Okay, let's test out the Fafnir F4. 3, 2, 1, let it Slingshot? No, you're in battle ring Yeah, it's right battle now. ring mode. So, less aggressive. Pretty chill, pretty chill. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see why they tightened that, like, kind of spring a little bit on the driver, though. Because, like, the original Absorb can go crazy around the stadium when you feel like it. But they want to differentiate Slingshot mode and battle ring mode a little bit more, right, in Hasbro. So... They want you to, like, if you want to go fast, use Slingshot, right? Yeah. They don't want you going super crazy fast while you're in Battle Ring. So I guess that makes sense. But let's just change it to Slingshot mode. Yeah. And really another quickly. reason they removed the metal, I feel like they wanted Slingshot mode to actually move super fast. Yeah, around so the they stadium. they need less weight. Exactly. Three, Three two, two, one, let's go. Wow, it that just like... really... It just like, it just like floated. The transition from one rail to the other yeah. seamlessly. Yeah. Then that's because of the plate too, right? Like it rides over this section too really easily and without losing too much spin. So that's pretty impressive, I guess, for like the driver when you're comparing it to other slingshot performance tips. Like this is pretty good. Okay, test battle with the Rooter R42. Three, two, one. I'm in battle ring. You're in battle ring. So on left spin, your right spin. We just want to see really quickly here is like, can I spin steel? Then we'll also uh, test battle against other, maybe Takara Tomi base too. Yeah, we'll see if uh, spin stealing is still a thing without that rubber. I should have a little bit better life after death than you. Yeah, because that driver is better. For sure. Okay, let's go one round with like slingshot. Slingshot, yeah. All right, slingshot. Then we'll go back to the spin ceiling test. Yeah. Slingshot mode. Three, two, two one. one yeah, definitely in slingshot mode, like Geist Fafnir doesn't have like the punch in order to pull off a really big hit, right? Oh, like yeah. a tie. Okay, so let's do a little bit of spin steel testing. I'm just gonna hand spin Fafnir F4. And Steven, you're using what? Takara Tomi, uh, Wing Valkyrie. Yeah, so a lot heavier, hit harder. Let's just see how it goes. Three, Three two, two, one, let it. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. So it can still spin steel a little bit. Yeah, because the shape of the whole layer is still the same. It's just yeah. missing some rubber pieces. Like the rubber aids in the spin stealing, obviously, but like the feature does help too. So probably doesn't do it as well as the Takara Tomi, but you saw that though. Still won all the hand spinning, so yeah. it's pretty good. All right, we're stepping it up. 
Let's see if Hasbro has what it takes to take on a GT Bay. Oh, you gonna hand spin? Yeah, I'm gonna hand spin. Okay. Let's see if we can spin steel. Like Rock Dragon's pretty like round Easy to beat. too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it'd be a little bit easier. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> Obviously it helps, right? It's still left spin bay, so it does equalize a little bit with a right spin opponent. Yeah. It's way lighter than Ace Dragon though. Oh, oh that was that's a draw. Like a, that's like a tie. That's not too bad. So still equalization happening. Yeah. I'm so really happy about that actually. Next, let's go against uh, Judgment Joker. Yeah, so Judgment Joker hits hard, so we'll see. You have rubber and I don't. I have offensive rubber. Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Let's Here we go, it's getting faster. Nice. But can it pull off a win? It's a good draw. That's pretty much a draw, yeah. Three, Three two, two, one, let it. Three, two, one, let it. So Hasbro version is like good at equalizing, but can't pull off a win yet. Oh, oh no, bursted. Three, Three two, two, one, let it Definitely gained back a lot of spin just now. Probably have to thank the rubber on your on your layer for that though. <laughs> <laughs> it like definitely like transferred it to me. Oh, Oh, like a, that was, that was like, like a, a tie, yeah. yeah. So not really pulling off a win here. All right, let's do a quick comparison. Let's use the Karatomi version. So the original Geist Fafnir with the rubber. We've been getting a lot of draws in the last few rounds. Let's just see if Karatomi can pull off a win. Yeah. So, so we'll we really compare. Judgment Joker again. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, shoot. Yep. First impact. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> oh man, the, that rubber on rubber. Three, Three two, one. one. And that's the difference of having rubber on Geist Fafnir too. It adds like so much extra friction when you're battling against an opponent like Judgment Joker. Yeah, so like the real question, can Fafnir F4 Hasbro spin steal? It can spin steal a little bit, it can equalize well, and it, it can at least pull off a tie instead of losing, right? Alrighty guys, that is our unboxing on Fafnir F4, okay? Um, what do you guys think of this Hasbro release? Overall, let's kind of like sum it up. Disappointing that there's no rubber, but we're glad that it at least retains its uh, shock absorption feature, right? Where the mouth basically snap in like that. Slingshot driver, when you're comparing to other slingshot drivers, this one is pretty sweet. Overall, if you're like basically like a Hasbro exclusive type of collector, you have to get this bay. Um, if you're wanting it to perform the exact same as Tegeratomi, that's not going to happen. It doesn't have the rubber, can't spin steel as well. Uh, but I would say you should probably still pick it up. And of course, if you're here for a Ruder R4, then I guess, uh, yeah, I hope what you guys you like been this. Doing here? I hope you guys like this unboxing because we featured him for about three seconds. And then here's the spotlight right now. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let us know what you guys think of these two bays. Um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and as always, peace out.